Got it from North London, got it from East London, got it from West London, got it from South London. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Standing behind my front door, the light is nice here. I'm just tired of sitting in my room. So today's video is going to be about five ways you can stay fabulous. Fabulous. Going with the weird fabulous. Okay. Um, during this quarantine, I hope you guys are staying safe. Thank you so much to the frontline workers. For those who are affected by this virus, my prayers go out to you. I wanted to come on here just to give small tips on how to stay positive as well as still slaying during a time like this. So let's get started. I've got my phone here, so I'm gonna be reading the notes that I've got on my phone. I may edit this bit out, I'm not sure. The first tip is to have a routine. Guys, routine is so important. At the start of the lockdown, guys, I was getting up at 11, 1, 2, sometimes even 3 and I'd wake up and I'd feel so bad, so bummy, so tired. Having a routine is really key in maintaining your mental health. It's really good to plan out your day because it gives you a purpose. If you know the day before you're gonna get up at eight, you're gonna, I don't know, read a book, you're gonna watch this video, you're gonna wash up, anything that you have planned or you're planning to do the next day, think about it the day before and plan it and it gives you a purpose. Having a routine can help cultivate good habits, which means if you get up early, you're likely to shower, you're likely to work out and all of that contributes in self -care. Just do the things that make you happy, but make sure you have allocated times set aside to do this particular thing. The second tip is to eat healthy guys eat healthy my excuse for like not eating healthy or losing weight was oh i'm at work you know when i get stressed out i like to the donut when you're out you're out <laughs> and you like to eat buy stuff and when you're at home you're more controlled have healthy meals because healthy meals is healthy mind, healthy body, and you'll be able to visibly see that. It could have been really hard for you to plan your meals, especially if you're working at nine to five and you get home and you're really tired, and now you don't have an excuse, you're at home, you can actually make healthy meals. With what's going on, this is the perfect time to really take care of your health and eat healthy to build up your immune system. And again, not having to think about cooking because you've already meal prepped really does help with your mental state, and it also avoid you from snacking. The third thing you can do in a time like this is put outfits together. I have loads of clothes. I personally feel like I don't know how to dress only because I buy loads of stuff. If you buy loads of things for me, you don't have to dress. If you really know how to dress, if you're really a fashionista, you should be able to put your clothes together to make new outfits all the time. You don't need to buy a new jacket. You don't need new jeans. You don't need a new bag. You don't need a new blazer. You don't even need new shoes. All you have to do is find different ways to style your outfit. Because we are all indoors, it's a perfect chance to go in front of the mirror, style your outfits, and it will give you a good idea of what you have. And whilst you're doing that, you can use this time to declutter. At the start of this quarantine, when I was bored, what I would do is go through my wardrobe, go through my shoe cupboard, and just clear everything out. And once you've decluttered, guys, you just feel like, the second thing, oops, the fourth thing you can do, guys, is do your own hair. A lot of girls are complaining and saying, oh, I can't wait for my hairdresser. I can't wait to get my wig made. I can't wait to get a sewing. I can't, no, stop. Stop, stop, stop. You guys should use this time to learn how to do your own hair. Guys, I made a wig, yeah? I made a wig. It took me two and a half days to make the wig. The wig turned out <laughs> At least I practiced how to make a wig. And everything in life takes practice. Now, obviously girls, not to say don't get your hair done, but in times like this, it's really handy to know how to do hair. I've done this myself. It is a leave out. If you know how to plait, you know how to do your own weave. There's loads of YouTube videos. If you've got like hair lying around, wash your old weave. Don't just chuck your weave in a bag and forget about it and go buy fresh new bundles. Last tip to stay fabulous during this quarantine is to read. 
Guys, I hate reading and I'm not gonna lie, I'm not reading. But I'm encouraging everyone to read. It's a really good time to keep on top of the news, what's going on in the world, how technology is developing. But I'm really loving teachings and readings of Marcus Aurelius. He teaches about living a better life and how the world works. He had a very logical mind. He was a Stoic philosopher. He also was an emperor of Rome and he spoke about spirituality, how you should be as a leader, how to better live your life, not to be scared, be a warrior. He just teaches you how to be a good person. That has really changed my outlook on life and it's even one of the reasons why I'm on here. So if you want some uplifting or you want to see things in a different light and stay positive i'd really recommend you watching youtube videos about marcus aurelius he was amazing i love his works and it has really encouraged me to live a better and fulfilling life that is all my tips guys i hope you like this video it's very different but i still wanted to acknowledge the fact that we are still going through a pandemic i hope everyone is staying positive looking fabulous and again it's not just about looking fabulous on the outside it's also looking fabulous on the inside i hope you guys enjoyed that video and i hopefully see you guys soon thanks guys bye